What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fish and today's video we're talking about Texas rig bullet weights and why heavier isn't always better. Alright guys, so we all know what a Texas rig is. We have our bullet weight to bead or not bead. That's a different video. You can go watch that one. Put that one right up there for you. To bead or not to bead and then to a hook and then to your plastic, uh, soft plastic bait. So the big question I get asked a lot on my Instagram, what size weight do you use for a Texas rig? All right, well, let's dive into that because there's a lot of different opinions on it. There's a lot of uh, people who think one way that um, isn't necessarily the best way of thinking. So I want to tell you guys the way I think about it, the way I fish a Texas rig, and why I feel as though my way is a little bit better. So the Texas rig to me is a, you know, it's a great search bait. It can be used really well for, as a search bait, um, but very rarely are you going to see me go above above half of an ounce. Now, yes, I do carry other weights, other um, weights higher than a half ounce. You know, I've got my half, three quarter, one ounce, one and a half ounce, and two ounce. Uh, but you know, those are for punching, for grass, for real, that, that thick, thick stuff. Um, and I don't fish that very often. You know, when I'm throwing a Texas rig, majority of the time I'm throwing it around wood, around rock, around laydowns, uh, bushes, stuff along those lines. And a lot of people, I know a lot of people, their instant go-to weight is a half ounce. And I am going to challenge you all to try something a little different. Let's go get away from the half ounce. Let's go down in weight. Um, you know, we recently went to a river system that I thoroughly enjoyed to fish. And uh, the guy that was with me was throwing a three-quarter ounce because the uh, current was ripping through that. I mean, it was, it was ripping through. There was heavy current, um, but three quarter ounce just to me wasn't, uh, wasn't the answer to what I wanted to be doing with my Texas rigs. That's what we were throwing, we were throwing Texas rigs. So as we go through there, we're fishing, we're fishing, and uh, I, I fish Wu Tungsten. Uh, you know, that's the tungsten I use. I use the Wu Tungsten Never Chip, and, as did he. And about an hour and a half in, he ran out of three quarter ounce tungsten weights and y'all know how expensive those are because he was continuously getting hung and you know the the one thing that we kept continuously talked about it, he was like you know the weight i need the weight to get down there but it's getting too heavy it's getting hung in the rocks so that's exactly what's happened you know your weight is getting down into the rock it's getting hung up in there and that's what's causing you to lose all of your weights because the weight is so heavy that it is burying itself down into the rock and it's not easy to pop up and get out of there. So I challenged him. I said, why don't you drop from a half ounce to something like a 5 16 ounce? That, that's what I enjoy throwing a quarter ounce to a 3 8 ounce, somewhere in that range. I got the quarter ounce. We've got the 5 16 ounce. And then we go to the three eighths ounce. So, you know, those those are kind of what I enjoy to fish a lighter weight uh, because it gives a more natural presentation to your bait. That's the key to this: is you want your plastic to be natural, whether that's a Exxon Lures MB Hog Hunter or it's an Exxon Lures Center Stick. You want it to look natural as it falls through the water column. Natural is always key in this. Sorry, OCD is bothering me. I don't like it when hooks are laying around. So, you know, it's always about being natural here. And the one thing that I have found, especially when you're fishing with heavy current, yes, the heavier weight is going to get you down there, but the heavier weight is not going to get you bit as much. So when we come up to laydowns, I'm going to play a video for you right here. Um, as we came up to this laydown, I instantly knew, I said, okay, the current is sweeping from right to left. It's coming through there extremely hard. So I'm going to throw about 10 feet up past where I want to throw. And I'm going to let the current carry it down. 
And of course, now you're going to see me set the hook, yada, yada, yada. Here comes the big bass. <laughs> uh, you know, that was the big bass of the trip coming in at five pounds. And it, it was one of those deals of, it, I think it finally clicked for who I was fishing with that heavier isn't always better. The lighter weight is going to allow you to be able to come through the rocks easier, it is going to allow you to come through the wood easier, you're not going to get hung as much because the weight isn't constantly pulling your bait down as hard and really getting into those nooks and crannies that you can't pop out of. You know, when I'm throwing a 3 8 ounce uh, tungsten weight, then I can throw into that lay down I still have bottom contact, well not bottom contact, but you know, lay down contact that I can still feel the branches of it. I can pull it through there and I'm still feeling everything, still keeping contact with it, but I don't have this massive weight just plunging it down as far as it'll go. So that's kind of the key to the way that I fish the lay downs with these Texas rigs. And what I really wanted to get through to you guys is don't always go with the bigger weight. The smaller weights are still going to produce just as well as the bigger weights, if not better. The only exception we are going to have to that for to go to the bigger weights is when we start punching. You know, when we start getting into grass, into that, that thick vegetation that the littler weights are going to get to, absolutely, that's when we're going to break out, you know, the the one ounce, the two ounce, you know, break out the big ones. Let, let's get that stuff through the vegetation because that's what the weight is for. We're, we're not really relying on the weight to make a presentation. We're relying on the weight to then get through the vegetation to be able to get that bait down to where the bass are. So that those are the two differences between the weights right there. Um, and, and you know, the, the, thing, the thing about it is, do what you are the most comfortable with. You know, if, if you don't have any confidence in throwing a quarter ounce bullet weight, then absolutely go up, go up to your half ounce, go up to whatever you're comfortable with. But keep in the back of your mind, if I were to go lighter, I have a greater chance of catching more fish. Now, I, I know a lot of people are going to want to argue that with me. Well, that's not how it works. Well, you know, it actually is how it works. The more natural the presentation is, the better the bites are going to be. And the lighter the weight, the better the presentation is going to look. You know, the, these big old weights just shoot that bait straight down. And these little weights, these little weights just let it kind of flutter down. And, and, you know, that is the key to everything is just letting them flutter down and really being natural. Guys, I hope you all like this video. I hope this answers some questions for everybody on my on my uh, Instagram channel that was asking about bullet weights and you know uh, what I fish, how I fish, then what weights I fish. Um, as I said in the video, guys, I am a I fish for Wu Tungsten, and uh, you know they're never chip uh, bullet weights is what I rely on heavily when I'm out on the water. They're uh, they're something that I believe in heavily. Um, just real quick, I'll show you guys the. Uh, this bullet weight that I've been fishing for a uh, better part of the summer, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna obviously zoom in on that so y'all can see that, but there is not a single chip in this thing. Um, it is very, it is still in the exact form that I got it as. You can still see the writing on the 3 8 and that's the other thing we love about Wu Tungsten. Um, they actually put the weights on the never chip so you're able to actually see it. You'll know, you know, being able, trying to tell the difference between a quarter ounce, five sixteenths, and a three eighths, that starts to really get a little difficult in through there. But guys, I really hope y'all like these videos. You know, um, I'm putting out as many videos as I can. I hope you're enjoying them. I hope this is helping you all. If you guys like these videos, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down there for me. Turn on that bell notification. It'll let you guys know as soon as I post the video because we are going to start doing the Tackle Warehouse gift cards. Uh, we're going to start that the, uh, in September. That'll be when that starts. Uh, the way it's going to work is uh, there will be a Tackle Warehouse gift card uh, code pop up on screen extremely fast. First person to see it, get it, spend it, it's yours. You can spend it on whatever you want at Tackle Warehouse. We're going to do those. We're going to do one a month. So you'll need to see all the videos to be able to find that one a month. And then we're going to do one $100 gift card per year. So that, that's a you know that's a big chunk of change for Tackle Warehouse. You'll be able to get a lot of baits with that. So be sure to turn on that subscription button, guys. 
hit my like button, hit that comment down there. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you like these videos. Let me know if you don't, guys. I appreciate it, guys. Take care. I'll see y'all out on the water.